Fifth seed Angelique Kerber made a strong start to her second round match with Ayumi Morita at the Torre Pan Pacific Open on Tuesday, opening up a set and a break advantage over the Japanese wildcard. Marita, who'd beaten world number 31 Serana Castella in the opening round, couldn't reproduce that form consistently here as Kerber closed out the win in straight sets. Next up for the German, a meeting with Poland's Ursula Radwanska in round three. Also on the Ariaki Coliseum, another second round clash between two-time former champion Maria Sharapova and British qualifier Heather Watson. The Russian had won their previous meeting at last year's US Open in a close three-setter, and this match was similarly tight. Oh, Sharapova starting to fire now. Sharapova served for the opening set, but Watson broke back, and then she snared the tie-break by nine points to seven. And Watson comes from 2-5 down in the first set tie-break to take it 9-7 against Maria Sharapova. In the second, both women continued to struggle to hold serve, trading breaks twice before Sharapova struck again. Third time lucky for Sharapova, she breaks, leads 4-2. The world number two closed out the set to level the match. And Sharapova takes the game and the six second set by six games to three. Sharapova also got an immediate break in the decider yeah. as Watson seemed to tire. In a very disappointing way for Watson to give up her first game service game of the third set. But Sharapova was also feeling it. The final set, like the match itself, littered with service breaks. Oh, yes. Watson breaks. In the end, Sharapova did just enough to edge this three-hour, nine-minute battle. And she only needs one of them. Heather Watson thumps the ground with her racket in disappointment. She pushed the world number two ever so close, but in the end just couldn't get over the finish line. World number one Victoria Azarenka and Austria's Timira Pasek faced off in the evening session in what was their fifth career meeting. Azarenka had won all three of their previous completed matches and she started in ominous form, racing into an early lead. And Pasek pulls the forehand wide and Azarenka has a two-love lead. Azarenka, who's reached the semi-finals here for the past two years, was simply too good for Pasek, comfortably winning the opening set. And Pasek goes long, and the first set is Azarenka's by six games to one. The second proved a similar story, the world number 32 unable to trouble and in the zone, Azarenka. She guesses right and ships the lob back. The top seed easily sealed the win in just 63 minutes. And that makes life tough enough against most players, but against the world number one. It is absolutely fatal, and Victoria Azarenka wraps up a fairly routine victory against Tamira Pasek of Austria. Defending champion Agnieszka Radvanska met Jeleni Jankovic in the remaining second round match to be played on Tuesday. The world number three led their head-to-head -head three to one, including a straight sets third round victory at the US Open just a few weeks ago. And the pole largely controlled the opening set of this clash. Yeah, well played both players, but Radwanska getting the upper hand. Radwanska, who's won three WTA singles titles this season and has also reached her maiden Grand Slam singles final at Wimbledon in July, took the set in 33 minutes. The pole a bit more solid from the baseline than Jankovic. And that is the first set to Agnieszka Radwanska. Six games to two. Six games to two. The second set was closer though as Jankovic, who reached the final here three years ago, battled hard to stay in the match, twice fighting back from a break of serve down to level the contest. This time she finds a way through, but still has two more break points to defend. But all that fight proved to be in vain as Radwanska clinched the win to reach round three. 
and it's spooned wide off the net cord and Rudvanska comes through a really, really tough second set.